The Grammys do owe the weekend and his fans some transparency. This is crazy. I'm gonna give y'all my take on it. Alright man, Torch It's All. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Today I want to talk about the Grammys snubbing the weekend. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that thumbs up button. If you like the content, if you don't, hit the thumbs down. Hey man, you know, like I said, just be real. And also too, if you want to donate, the link is in the description. Cash app, PayPal, all that good stuff. Alright, so, let's get into it man. The weekend. 2020's biggest artist was snubbed at the Grammys. And I want to talk about two different versions of this. One of my first version is, is, is how is it that the Grammys snubbed the weekend? And I'm going to give y'all uh, what was said. And then I'm going to tell y'all how I feel and the reason why I believe he was snubbed. So let's get into what was said. So the weekend, the list of the Grammy nominations come out, and every category came out, and the weekend wasn't on any category, which to me, surprisingly to me, I looked at this and I said, "How is it that the weekend is not on no category, not one, not one award, not one?" And I said, "Wait a minute." I went down the list and I said, "He's not in any category." He's not, he doesn't have not one nomination. So, you look at the streams. And you look at Blinding Lights. You look at After Hours. You look at the success of this, this artist in this album of 2020. Blinding Lights is clearly, clearly the song of the year. Blinding Lights is clearly the song of the year. There's no way around that. There's no way around that. Blinding Lights is probably, well, from what I read, the biggest song of all time. It's the most streamed song of all time. So, how is it that the Grammys didn't nominate The Weeknd? Not for one, for one, not for one. How is it that? So I asked. So I started looking, and I researched, and I seen what The Weeknd said. The Weeknd said, hey, Grammys, you owe me and my fans some transparency. Y'all corrupt, you know? So, which, in response, the Grammys comes out and they say, we feel the weekend's pain. We understand that he did a lot this year and we understand he's an excellent artist, but they had to cut down some names, right? Which makes no sense to me because how are you judging this off? What are we going off of? Are we going off of popularity and success? Success, popularity, which one? Because to me, if we're going off of popularity and success, then he, he wins both. If we're going off of just popularity, he wins both. If you're going off of success, he wins both. Blinding Lights is a big name. After Hours sold so many albums. What are we doing here? So how is it that you don't nominate him in any category? It has to be a reason. Somebody who did the nomination had to say, hey, listen, here's the list of names that we have. Put the weekend there and said, well, if we put him in this, he's going to win. If we put him in this, he's going to win. If we put him in this, if we put this song anywhere on this list, the weekend is going to win. So either we make, we make a tough decision and say, he has already has Grammys, so maybe we don't put him on the list because he's going to clean up. So maybe we just don't put him on a list. Now, that's one theory. The second theory is I think that maybe he had an ultimatum, like was said. Now, was said he had a choice to do the Super Bowl or do or do uh, the Grammys. They said you can't do both. Now, here's where I believe that a little bit. It's because how is it that you're telling an artist that is the biggest artist of this 2020, has the biggest record of 2020, sold the most records of 2020, that he doesn't have any nominations. 
How is that? It has to be a reason. And for me, maybe the reason was, listen, you have to do this or this. If you don't do this, then you don't get this. Even though I don't know what the Grammys have to do with the Super Bowl, but people were saying that they were both not connected, but they gave them the ultimatum. Now, where did that come from? I don't know. We don't know where it came from. So how is it that it came about? Because to me, doing a Grammys and doing a Super Bowl is two different things. I think they're two weeks apart or whatever. So maybe they didn't want him to do both. I don't know. I don't know who came up with that, but I'm just saying what was said. Now, with that out the way, that to me is the more, more uh, I would say, reasoning that they probably didn't what's his name because he wasn't put on the list at all so to me maybe that's the that's the real reason over there the real reason is they gave him an ultimatum and he turned it down and they said okay well you don't be on the list at all maybe somebody got mad or something or maybe they said well we need you to perform this or something and he said well i'm not going to do that now the weekend doesn't strike me as a person that is combative or argues so I believe that when he said that you owe me and my fans some transparency, I believe he knows that he knows, but he's waiting for them to say. And of course, they're not going to say they're not going to say they're going to, you know, they, the guy released a statement and said whatever. Now, that's just that. Now, let's just stop for a second. Beyonce got nominated for nine Grammys. Nine. How is it that Beyonce got nominated for nine Grammys? What album or what song besides besides the song she did with Megan Thee Stallion Savage Remix? What song that you can recognize and say, OK, yeah, she should be nominated for a Grammy for that song. What song? None, because there's no way in the world you can tell me that you nominate Beyonce, who hasn't really done anything this year, anything this year. For nine nominations, but you don't nominate a man who literally took over 2020? Who took over 2020? You don't nominate a man who completely took over 2020, but you nominate Beyonce? You nominate Megan Thee Stallion? And again, it's nothing against them. It's just what it is. So it kind of makes me upset because I look at it and I say, is this a joke? This has to be a joke. It had to be a couple of people who did this, who did this process, because there had to be some people in that room who said, we can't put him on this list. It had to be, it had to be, because there's no way in the world you can say, what are we going off of? Let's just be honest here. What are we going off? Are we going off of popularity and success? Are we going off of success? Are we going off of popularity? Because The weekend has both. So what are you saying? And to be honest with you, it's probably very hard not to put The weekend in every category because he has a song that literally can go in every category. And that was successful. Every one of his songs, I think, that came out off this album has over a billion streams. So you can't say, hey, listen, uh, we didn't put him in there. And when he say transparency, this is what I'm saying, because it's not like this is not like some fly by night artist or some artist that you basically uh, 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 just, I don't know, give some type of a. Uh, recognition to because they're they're new this artist dominated 2020 he had a whole theme going on 2020 a whole theme whenever you look at 2020 you're going to remember that was from 2020 that theme that the weekend did with the red jacket black suit with the uh everything no artist has done that and he's still doing the theme now that alone should make him with the with the music. It's great. That should make him win album of the year for that. 
So this is what I mean, like an artist being creative. What what are we what are we doing here? So my question to the Grammys is is how do you not put him on the list? Not in one category, not one. You nominate him for zero. So what did you do? What was your process? That's that's my question. That's the question I would ask. <clears throat> what is the process? Because if you're going off of certain things, obviously somebody's biased somewhere. Because there's no way in the world you can tell me that this man dominated this whole year and you don't give him an award. Not one nomination. Not even that you give him an award. And the nomination for the award. Whether he win or not, that's a different story. So this is my question. So who knows? Maybe the Grammys just wanted to not give out the award to the weekend because they probably felt that they put him in all the categories he probably would have won and truth be told when you have that many singles that's successful there's really nothing you can say or do like what can you say heartless is successful blind lights in your eyes is successful uh a bunch of you know save your tears all these songs are successful what do you do with artists like that so if if you want to say, hey, listen, Heartless can go in one of the, uh, that can go in a hip-hop category, or that can go in single hip-hop single category, then you got Blinding Lights can go in any category, then you got the After Hours album can go in album of the year category. What do you do? So I believe that me personally, now this is not fact, but me personally, and I'm probably, I'm probably laughing, oh, this is crazy, oh, he's crazy. I believe that they wanted to show the women empowerment because I believe if Weekend would have got in there, he would have won, hands down. He would have beat those those albums, album of the year. Now, who I think is going to get album of the year? I think it's going to go to Taylor Swift. Even though I think Taylor Swift album wasn't nowhere near as good as the Weekend album, I listened to both, and it wasn't nowhere near as good as the Weekend album. Not at all. Not in no, no. But Taylor Swift is a force in the music industry and I think that she plays her cards right and I think yeah Taylor Swift wasn't uh, nominated I think a year ago or something like that from what I heard so but still in all that's just my my opinion apart now the facts will remain and I do believe the weekend is humble enough to say whoever won you know congratulations but me personally I do believe that the feminist movement had a lot to do with it and I believe that the reason why is because the weekend would have won and it's what makes me mad because none of those artists in this on that whole category has a song as big as Blinding Lights. Not one of them. But yet and still, they put them in albums of the year. And this is why I say the week the the, uh, the Grammys get the backlash from a lot of black people. It's because black people feel like the Grammys do be doing black artists dirty. Now you have whereas it comes down to black males and I believe that the Grammys do be doing a lot of black males dirty and they do they do try again they tried and what they did with uh, with uh, the, uh, with the hip-hop this year kind of was impressive to me but at the same time you know it is what it is so the Grammys to me is a very important award but also is really not that important because it's kind of diluted now but to have a Grammy, you still have that pinnacle of awards when it comes to being an artist. And I believe that if you got one or two or three, and I think The Weeknd has a couple of them already, it really doesn't matter. You're already solidified. So with all that being said, I do believe that the Grammys did <clears throat> The Weeknd dirty is a travesty. But at the same time, Weeknd is a legend already. And it is what it is. He's going to continue to make music, and I'm sure that he's probably going to win much more Grammys going forward than a lot of these artists win. But I'm just shocked that Beyonce, who really didn't do anything this year, got nine nominations. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But either way, and not that he don't Beyonce, because I love Beyonce. It's just, <clears throat> i got to keep it real. Told you talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, listen, if you guys, uh, you know, think the weekend was done dirty, you know, place it in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. But I just think that I just think that the Grammys at this point has made themselves into the enemy again. And 
they they're trying, but at the same time, you got some people over there that's just biased. You know what that is, man. Torture talk. Like she subscribe.